The vision of One Christian Network is to unite the church to transform the city. Our mission is to mobilize God's people and resources by creating a hub of communication, connection, and collaboration. We have a heart to see every church and ministry and organization working together so that we can reimagine Wilmington more effectively and make greater impact in our city. It's hard to believe that it's been 10 years since One Christian Network began. What started as a simple vision to unite the body of Christ has grown into a movement of reimagining Wilmington together. In 2013, I helped plan a citywide prayer march for racial reconciliation. And through that experience, God really showed me um, how divided we were, but also how amazing it was to see the body of Christ come together and that we had much work to do. And he just gave me a glimpse and I wanted to be a part of uniting the church to transform the city. So we began uniting leaders and also creating awareness of the resources and events in our city to create unity and also to make sure that each individual knew what resources there were available so that they can um, flourish um, in Wilmington. So in 2018 is when we officially got our 501c3 and just a few weeks later, Hurricane Florence devastated our city. And through the relationships that we had, we knew that we wanted to use our connections to convene leaders to make impact after Florence. So we began um, connecting, being able to share resources and bring leaders together to share what they were doing and find out what the gaps were to help set up distribution sites and allocate resources more effectively. In 2020, One Christian Network tackled food distribution challenges. And in 2022, we launched Charity to Change, a curriculum designed to foster sustainable community impact through church collaboration. So in 2022, we got our grant from the Global Leadership Foundations to start an initiative called Charity to Change, which was bringing churches together and nonprofits to go through an online curriculum with the goal at the end of it to do something together that would create sustainable change. And our group decided to work on um, affordable housing and wraparound support, which at that time is, was working on church school partnerships. So for affordable housing, we have a goal to mobilize churches and individuals to the, use the resources they have to create more affordable housing. And then for church school partnerships, we have a goal for every school in New Hanover County to have a church partnership and an effective church partnership as well. Within our county in New Hanover, there's a lacking of housing at affordable rates. My name is Roger Giddens. I'm the executive director of Backyard Housing Group. We help homeowners build and rent backyard cottages. We have recently partnered with One Christian Network and it's been a game changer for us. It has exploded our community outreach. They sponsored one forum. I was expecting about 30 people to attend. It turned out 130 people attended. We did additional workshops and again, the participants went from 16 to 50. So they played a huge role in our evolution and I am very grateful. My name is Jermaine Armour and I pastor the St. Luke Amazon Church here in the city of Wilmington. And I would say around 2020, we began to discover and see a lot of uh, challenges in, in our school, whether we were dealing with um, children not going to school or violence around the school. Um, and so we wanted to get involved, especially those of the faith community. Uh, one of the things that we thought is that we didn't want to leave uh, the healthy benefit of our schools just to the school system, uh, but we wanted to get the churches involved as well. And many of our churches all over the city, city we have former teachers and former educators, former administrators. Uh, so we thought what better way to get involved was to create a school partnership under the guidance 
and umbrella of the One Christian Network. Um, and so our church immediately got involved. Uh, we adopted a school uh, that is the New Hanover County School. It is called the Career Readiness Academy. We have a really great relationship with the principal and we also work uh, with a social worker who will send us an email and call us and say, hey, uh, we need some individuals to volunteer for reading day. Uh, and the church really gets involved. We call our initiative Reviving Schools. Uh, and our whole idea is to take care of uh, the teachers who care for our children. And it's been an amazing um, uh, partnership. This year has been a turning point. From affordable housing forums to strategic prayer teams and workshops on effective church partnerships, we're laying the groundwork for lasting change. Also this year we started collaborating with Restored Souls, which is an agency for foster care to bring people together to pray and think of ways that we can work together to make sure there's more families that are licensed and also to support them. We also started doing United Prayer and um, mobilizing churches to pray for their neighborhood and the closest school near them so that we can really saturate and cover our city with prayer. So since we've started meeting together for prayer as of January, and then we've been able to work together to start this foster care initiative with One Christian Network. There's, we've actually seen a decrease in the number of kids in care overall. So as of January 1st of 2024, there was about 450 kids in care. And since we've been praying and seeking God's face and working together, um, that number's dropped to about 250. My name is Melissa Matthews and I'm the Executive Director of the Restored Souls Foundation. And our mission is to provide resources and support for foster families, families with disabled children, um, children with, that are medically fragile and adopted. Hi, my name is Mary Mead and this is my husband Ryan Mead and we are the pastors of River Life Wilmington. We came from an association of churches uh, in Mooresville and Chapel Hill, North Carolina and we moved here about a year ago. Yeah, so we were meeting monthly actually before we even moved. That's you know, true. coming down here and started meeting, we were meeting in hotel rooms and immediately when we were talking to people about the idea of Wilmington, almost everybody we talked to, people from out of town, people from in town said that we needed to get connected with One Christian Network. I'm a part of the strategic prayer team and we meet monthly to pray over the Reimagine Wilmington initiatives. And one of the things that has been amazing to see is people come from different churches, people come from different ministries to get together, all with the united purpose of covering these things that are so important to us in prayer. And we believe that that's the foundation of how we want all of our ministries to run. So it's, a, it's great to be able to see that and to be a part of that. One of my favorite One Christian Network events since we've been here just in the limited time that we've been here was last year during the National Day of Prayer and gathered together at Longleaf Park and had just an amazing turnout mm -hmm. from other ministries, from individuals that serve in like the school district, that serve in with law enforcement and all coming together. And I loved that there was no like individual church agenda or individual Christian ministry agenda. It was clearly strategic for us to really pray over the city, pray over the region, pray over the nation. And it was amazing to me to, to hear people that had a heart Mm -hmm. and to pe hear people that had really passion for different areas get up and lead us in prayer. It was a significant, I think, strategic event, and I'm looking forward to more, more mm -hmm. of those. Last year, we launched a campaign called Reimagine Wilmington, and really the premise is just to empower and encourage each person to reimagine Wilmington, think about what their part is and how they're gonna connect with others to do their part. And so all of our initiatives are under that banner of reimagining Wilmington. The way I reimagine Wilmington and One Christian Network helping to facilitate that is to help us to come together as one more often in the church, outside the church, in ways that are safe and continue to make churches feel that they're valued and that their resources are not to take away from their churches, but it's also for us to come together and build the churches as well as build what the church can do outside of um, our four walls. 
The way I reimagine Wilmington is for every child in our area to have a home and a family to come back to. I am so glad I started coming to the One Christian Network meetings four years ago because none of the things that are happening citywide would happen without One Christian Network and their reimagining Wilmington vision. They're the big visionaries behind um, the small details of the lives of families in this city. Hi, I'm Doug Falk with Kingdom Impact Wilmington Church. I just want to say what a huge impact that One Christian Network has made in our community. It's so wonderful. It's a one, it's a one-stop shop. It's a hub. It's a place where any any pastor or leader that needs resources in our town on how to help people, um, you can find out how to get there. Um, it's just a wonderful thing. I'm so glad to be a part, and I'm so glad that, that we're, our community is becoming closer and closer together because of One Christian Network. Yeah, we're so thankful for the provision of the Lord in that whole process, but also really thankful for One Christian Network for being a place where the body of Christ can come and every joint supplies and we can help to meet each other's needs and the needs of the community. One of the reasons why churches should work together, it, it comes from two um, old sayings. One is that many hands makes the work light. And so whenever you come together in collaboration, everybody carries their own weight um, and it makes everybody feel good. And it's not one huge initiative when you're talking about making schools healthy. It doesn't fall on one person, uh, but we take the responsibility all. And there's another saying that teamwork makes the dream work. So the diversity of thought, the diversity of resources coming together, it is so very important. We believe in our community that it takes a village to raise one. And so the village Coming together is the people of the faith community. It's our our churches. It's one Christian network that mobilizes us and organizes us and gets us out to do the work that we believe Christ has done himself. One of the great advantages of one Christian network is that they reach across different congregations. And as somebody who's involved with community outreach, that represents a huge help in getting to the people we want to communicate with. Hey everyone, my name is Danella Kish. Um, one of the most remarkable things about the network is just how the Big C Church is on display and how all different kind of churches with all different backgrounds come together for the purpose of sharing the love of Jesus Christ in our city. And it's just absolutely remarkable and that's why I love it so much. I've seen so much happen when we actually come together as a body um, and specifically with our church, every time there was a need, we were able to fill it because we work together. So it's just been really neat to be a part of that and to not just think about our own church, but the big collective church as a whole, where we can really start to have impact. Thanks One Christian Network for just loving on our city so well. Hello, I'm Pastor Delmarva Johnson with Words of Christ Ministry. And I just wanted to say happy 10th anniversary to One Christian Network. Thank you for being the glue to the city. You have been such a blessing to our community. Our church is forever grateful to you. You have been a great resource for those that in the community and you are always been dependable, always been loving and caring on the people. And we just want to say we're blessed to have you in our city. Every city needs a One Christian Network but the Lord decided to favor us with you. You are a blessing to our city and may the Lord continue to bless the work of your hands. We thank God for you. And I pray that this will be a blessed year for this ministry and many more. Well, all right, One Christian Network. Congratulations and thank you. 10 years of uniting leaders, equipping the church and mobilizing the saints for the good of our community and the glory of God. So, so grateful for your ministry and we can't wait to see what the next 10 years holds will you prayerfully consider joining us in this mission together we can continue to unite the church and transform our city your support makes a difference so we've grown a lot in the last few years so in order for us to continue this momentum of change and growth in our city we need your support we have a goal of raising two thousand dollars a month in monthly supporters so that could be 20 donors at 100 a month or 40 donors at 50 dollars a month but whatever it is we would love for you to join us 
in growing the network so that we can continue to reimagine Wilmington together. Thank you for being a part of our journey. With your help, the next 10 years will be even more impactful. Let's continue to make a difference together.